how, how did you know that the manager client relationship for the two of you was a good fit? I'd like to hear both of your perspectives on that. Cause you know, it obviously taking on uh, an artist is a big deal and taking on a manager is a big deal. It takes a lot of trust in, in one another. So I'm curious as to how that happened. Seth, you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. I mean, we, uh, we've had a, a professional and a creative relationship for years. So um, really just being in the studio, bro, like, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I've been in the studio with Ricky for like the past like five years, like regardless of what my role was, even if it was just to like be there, pull up, like listen to the music, provide some energy and insight conversation. Like I used to sleep over in the studio, you know what I mean? We'd go out to like Canoga Park or whatever and just sleep in the studio, you know what I'm saying? So oh, the valley, just go crazy. Yeah, the Canoga Park sessions are crazy, but yeah, just like, uh, you know, forming a relationship over the course of like a long time and not taking advantage of of things. You know what I'm saying? Like I showed Ricky that I was down and that, you know, and, and he really put me in position to now try to help put him in position. You know what I'm saying? Like, because being from Pittsburgh, there's no scene there. So there was shit that I had to learn being in the studio, like certain types of etiquette, how to move around uh, around the people that he's around. Cause I, I was never around nobody like that. And I'm, you know, these are things that I'm still learning every day. Um, so yeah, just like a long period of time, just spending time together and working on music together. Um, that that's really how this worked. And then, you know, we, uh, Will is like Ricky's like main manager. And, you know, he like runs Taylor Gang and, and manages uh, other clients and stuff. So it just came to a point where it was like, okay, we need someone on the ground to help Ricky get organized and then like deliver this stuff to the person who can make like those power moves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then how did you know it was the right fit, Ricky? Because Seth came down like that. <laughs> it was like, I always say it's like, you got to put things in the universe. We always got to work for it. And uh, Seth came at a crazy time last year when I was really trying to get like back on this organizational thing. Just like, man, I had a lot going on. Wasn't really trying to finish everything. Seth was like, hey, man, I got some free time. Like, I just want to vibe out. Can I just start vibing back out? Because like, he started like getting back into, he started working at a couple studios and shit. So he really didn't have time to like hang out like how he was saying, like we were really in the studio a lot. And he started working in the studio as an engineer, doing a lot of stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like post-production work, like staying in the industry without letting it derive him from it. And uh, he came in and he, like he said, he kind of proved it. And man, you got to give a motherfucker a shot. Shit, Wiz gave me a shot, bro. I was when I came out here, I was I was a local joker. So I got a shot. I was like, fuck it, man. You want to do it? Fuck it. And his he's constantly proving every day. And it's hard dealing with an artist, especially dealing with like a person like me who's like somebody who's like starting artistry. And I'm not like a regular artist. I'm like, I've already did it. I've done a lot of things that nobody will ever do. So it's like I kind of come with a different like, you know, energy and all that stuff. And he's resilient, man. I love Seth. Every day he blossoms more and more and more. He's a sponge, man. And uh, I can do a lot of the things that I do now without Seth. We are definitely like a tandem. And Will says it the same thing, too. We was just out at dinner. And it's like, you know, he, he mentioned like, yo, I'll introduce you to Seth. Seth manages Ricky with myself and all that stuff. It isn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, like Will, he does a lot of the big corporate stuff. But there's no hierarchy. There's no like, hey, he we don't treat it like that we treat it like hey we all are learning and growing together so there's going to be a lot of fuck-ups there's going to be a lot of things that we don't know but like that's the beauty of music there's a lot of fuck-ups that's how i got here was fucking up <laughs> like, what luckily somebody fucked up and wiz gave me a shot and then look what happened i know seth's going to turn out to a will seth's going to have good money's going to have his list of artists i'm gonna be having to come over there and ask for a job you know what i'm saying how seth works